So this testimony is from Scott's site as well. It's entitled, entitled, Inner Healing and Deliverance Can Heal a Lifetime of Fear and Anxiety. You know, how many of you have known people that have went through so much fear and anxiety in their life without finding help, um, having to see counselor after counselor and really not getting the whole thing healed and resolved? Let me share this story with you. Recently married, uh, 29-year-old Jerry was raised in a single-parent home by his atheist father. Jerry's new wife led him to the Lord, and the new in-laws invited their daughter and Jerry to church. A short skit about a scared little boy was performed on stage. As soon as the frightened boy spoke, a terrifying deep growl emitted from him, from Jerry. And all the people around him began to move away. The growling continued and Jerry and his in-laws quickly left the service. Jerry's father-in-law found me through a friend of a friend. Six foot four, 240 pound Jerry and his new mother and father-in-law stepped into my office. Jerry was dressed head to toe in black. He, he looked at me and he bellowed, I want these demons gone. So the three of them sat down and I, I leaned in close to Jerry and said, what happened to you? Who hurt you? One huge tear rolled down his cheek and he, he whispered, my dad. Jerry confessed to suffering paralyzing fear and anxiety his whole life. Jerry excitedly awoke early on his sixth birthday to find a new bike sitting in the living room. He was gleefully pushing it around and around in the room and barely noticed when his dad walked in. Jerry glanced at his dad and kept on playing and his dad suddenly yanked the bike from Jerry and yelled at him, what, no thanks for dad? And then he grabbed Jerry and he drug him out onto the front lawn. And while the horrified boy watched, his dad threw the bike down behind the car and proceeded to drive back and forth over it till it was completely destroyed. This six-year-old multiple personality created by this trauma came up shrieking and absolutely terrified. I quickly asked the Lord to come and to come to this little boy on the lawn. The shrieking immediately stopped and the Lord told the little boy, he said, fear not for I am with you. And the six year old was completely healed with just those few words that Jesus said. The demon of fear that tormented that six year old personality came up with a deep growl and threatened, I'm gonna kill you and your whole family. I leaned into an inch from his nose and I whispered, give it your best shot. The demon warily sat back in his chair and glared at me. I asked if it still had a legal right to stay in this man and he said no. I sent fear to the pit and Jerry opened his eyes and he smiled from ear to ear. Jerry's mother-in-law mother and father-in-law were on their knees praying and watching all of this take place. And when it was finished, Jerry's mother-in-law explained, oh my gosh, every church needs this ministry. So inner healing and deliverance can heal a lifetime of fear and anxiety. And you know what? Jerry's mom or mother-in-law there was so right. Every church needs this ministry. 
They may not admit it. They may not humble themselves and admit it. But it's the truth. And Jesus is opening the eyes of people today and showing us the need that we have for healing, the need that we have for deliverance, the need that we have to have a closer walk with the Lord. In saying that, I am going to close and um, I'm probably going to stop here and maybe I will pick up tomorrow some that I didn't finish. I think I'm going to actually entitle this one. Every church needs this ministry. I'm convinced of that and, and, and praying with all my heart um, that God will open the eyes of the people, especially those that are wounded and need healing. I'm praying that in Jesus' name. I'm believing that in Jesus' name. I'm believing that we're in a new day. We're in a new era. God is doing a new thing. Great things are happening. Whether, you know, we're always seeing them or not, it, it doesn't matter. They're happening. We're hearing testimonies of what God is doing. We're blessed by what God is doing. And we're excited about what God is doing. So in saying that, well, we're, we're continuing to pray that the Lord will have his way, that God's will would be done on earth as it is in heaven. You know, I truly believe there are no people in heaven that are going to be walking around with fear and anxiety. No people in heaven are going to be walking around in loneliness or sin of any kind or wounding of any kind. In Jesus' name, God bless you each and every one. If you need prayer, if you need someone to come into agreement with you, if you need someone to talk to, don't hesitate to email us. Email me at gmanazak8 at gmail.com. Maybe we can get together and talk on the phone and um, pray and ask the Lord to heal. God bless you each and every one. Have a blessed week.